Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to automate the power energizing orb using refined storage and modular routers. This is a nice and compact design, so let's get started. So if we wanna build this, it's actually very simple. So start with your energizing orb. It doesn't matter where you put the energizing orb, we just have to make a crafter point towards the energizing orb. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my recipes for all of the energizing stuff into the crafter. Once all of our recipes are in there, make sure you set this to redstone pulse inserts next Set. That's important. Next up, we're going to take a modular router and put it on any side of the crafter. Doesn't matter as long as it's touching. It has to be touching. Next up, you want to make yourself a puller module, the Mach 2, and then we're going to take and shift click right here on the energizing orb. And then we can go ahead and put this inside of our modular router. And for the next one, we want to get a detector module. The detector module is simple. To set this properly, you have to think which side the crafter is on because we need to output a redstone signal to that. So for me, it's to the right. Once that's set, we're gonna go ahead and put this inside of the detector module. And from here, now all we have to do is connect it to our system. The easiest way to do that is by placing a network receiver if you have the materials for it. If you don't have the materials for this, you can always just use cables. I'm gonna right click with a network card and then attach it to my system over here. Now that this is done, I'm just going to slap an importer right here and that's it. That's all that it takes to make this automated. Now if I want to test this out, I can come over here and craft 10 of the Niotic Crystals here and we'll see that it goes in, it gets sapped, it gets pulled out, and then goes to the system. And that's all there is to it. This design can be easily compacted into a basic floor here of three blocks if you wanted to with everything being hidden underneath the side. This is what the compacted version would look like underneath the ground here. We have our cables going to an importer here on the modular router. We have our crafter in the middle and then a network receiver right here to connect everything. And with all that together, it makes it a nice little clean look for all of our crafting needs. All right, let's talk about upgrades. So the first thing you wanna do is upgrade your crafter if you can. At the top, you can see it says occupied space five out of nine and then it says current speed is one times. So something important to note that these crafters are actually limited by the space or the storage space of the inventory that it's looking at. So for this example, the energizing orb only has seven slots. So it will always be limited by how many slots that the energizing orb has. So if all you have right now is just the regular crafters, you can also double check to see if you have the iron crafters in the mod pack. Now I'm playing all the mods eight, so I do actually have this. So if I replace this with an iron crafter, after, make sure it's pushing forward. It's the same thing. We're at the current speed of one. The Iron Crafter just holds more recipes and then you could always put the upgrades in the right slot here. So if I wanted to put speed upgrades in here, I could do that. The next upgrade is the Gold Crafter, which this has a base speed of five times. So it's important to note that because again, the Energizing Orb only has seven slots, this would probably be where I would go. And then if you put two speed upgrades in here, we have the current speed of seven times at the top. If you put one more speed upgrade in there, it'll say at the top limited by energizing orb. There's only seven slots here. So seven times the speed is all you can get for these crafters. Let's go ahead and put our recipes back in here and let's talk about the modular router. To speed up the modular router, you could do several different upgrades. First off, we have these speed upgrades and this determines how fast that the modular router works. If you hold I while scrolling over the upgrade itself, this will tell you all the useful information about the upgrades itself, how fast this is ticking and how many upgrades that you can actually put in here to speed it up to the max. So nine is our max here. You could also put stack upgrades in here and stack upgrades will make it where it will send a stack at a time if it has a stack at a time. Now specifically for this, chances are you're probably only going to get one or two items at a time. So this is not technically a necessity, but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and grab one of these. Inside of your puller module, you can also put augments in here. You can put stack augments to determine that it can pull a whole stack at a time instead of one or two at a time. That would be the only augments that I would put into this setup just so it could pull a little bit faster. As a general tip and trick here, you can actually camouflage your modular router entirely by shift clicking on something with the camouflage upgrade. When you right click and put this camouflage upgrade, it will actually hide the modular router. As we can see, it's not really hiding very well, but it's trying its best, okay? As for messing with your cables, you could definitely upgrade your importers. You can do just a base importer here, or if the mod pack has it, which in all the mods eight, it does, we have something called an elite importer. Then it goes to ultra, then it goes to creative. These also give you more slots and they can also take speed upgrades if you would like to. Just make sure that the speed upgrade doesn't go into this slot because then it's gonna mess your system up. If you don't 
don't have that mod, if it's not a part of the pack, you could also just use a basic importer and then do a stack upgrade and then three speed upgrades. And that'll make it fast enough. If you wanted to hide your cables, you could also take and use whatever it is that you're using to hide it, combining it with an iron nugget, and then you will get cable covers for refined storage. So you just slap these suckers on there and make it invisible. How cool is that? And one last tip, you could actually make this wireless to make it where the modular router doesn't actually have to be beside the crafter if you didn't want this to be. The way I'm doing this is using some kind of wireless redstone. So I'm using Create's redstone link here and there is a mod that actually makes wireless redstone. There's a couple of different mods. So whatever mod that you have that does wireless redstone, you can use that. Create's pretty much in a lot of different mod packs so I'm sure that you could easily use this. So the way I have this set up is the same thing in my modular router here. The detector module still sends out that redstone signal to the right and then I have a redstone link here set to transmit mode. Just a little quick snippet of how this works these things can actually work off of channels by putting in a block in this frequency slot here for either one of these and then with your wrench if you right click you can set this to receiver mode so we want this one specifically to be set to transmit so that way when it gets a redstone signal it transmits it back over here into our crafter this one is set to receive mode this is just for demonstration purposes you could put this redstone link on the bottom so that way it is hidden but this works exactly the same and says hey whenever we get a redstone signal go ahead and insert the next set the way that i actually have this set up is that i've actually added a distributor module for modular routers that sends the items into the storage controller and then it automatically goes into the appropriate drawer over here depending on what it is so we can test this again if I come over here to spirited crystal and we go to 10 we make these this should come out and as we see it's getting sent right over here into this drawer and if you wanted to attach this to your system you would just need an external storage attached to the storage controller so it can see everything inside of these drawers because this is actually how i would set it up in my world i do have one thing to note there is a range on the puller and the distributor modules you can upgrade these with range augments if you'd like to but just keep that in mind before you start sending your module or router you know into another dimension with these redstone links just thought i'd let you know if you like this guide and want to see more play through tips and tricks make sure to check out my all the mods 8 series where we're covering a bunch of these different things on my channel thank you for watching bye, -bye.